In this video for week seven and eight, we're going to discuss uh, heat and matter. We're talking about thermodynamics, basically, where we look at energy in the form of heat and how it applies to the HVAC field. Now, as technician, yes, we do have to understand the science behind it to make the equipment work correctly. And the science is built on uh, years of uh, scientific um, changes and advancement in the field to get to the point where we're at today. So as we go through, we're going to really do some basic things, just an overview of things that you have covered in the past. But when we deal with heat, we are actually talking about energy, the amount of energy. And the way the measurement we measure uh, heat is what we call a BTU. And it stands for British Thermal Unit. And a British thermal unit is really the simplest form we look at in the United States of measuring energy. Different parts of the world, or in science or engineering, they use different forms, but just measurement. Matter of fact, for example, another form of energy, of heat energy, is a calorie. We look at calories as losing weight and things like that, but it's actually a measurement of heat energy. So, British thermal unit. And to give an idea of one BTU, one BTU is equivalent to if you had a stick match and you strike it and burn it. That amount of energy is considered about one BTU. So they give you an ideal. So as we look at different things, we look at not heat as temperature, and temperature is basically a measurement of the intensity of heat energy. The intensity, how much of combined. For example, give you an ideal of heat intensity and temperature. If we uh, take a 100 watt light bulb, and a 100 watt light bulb is equivalent to about 341 BTUs. And we take that 341 BTUs, like taking 341 matches and striking it at one time and burning that amount of energy. It's quite a bit. But a 100 watt light bulb we know is hot. And let's say, just for um, the discussion, that uh, the outside surface of that a light bulb is very hot. If you ever touch one, you know it's hot. But it's, let's say, it's around 200 degrees, very hot. And it's pretty intense. But let's look at it uh, a little more deeper. Where the heat energy is coming from is that filament in that bulb. So let's say we had a light bulb. And we had the filament inside of it, the little wire, tiny wire. And let's say on the outside of it, it's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's, like I say, it's pretty intense. But now, let's look at the filament inside of it. What is that temperature? That temperature is probably closer to 1,000 degrees. 1,000 degrees. The same amount of BTUs, 300 41 BTUs, however, the intensity, which is the temperature of it, is higher at the filament as it spreads out, it loses its intensity, of course, but the amount of energy that it put out is exactly the same, 341 uh, BTUs. So, here, a BTU is, is a measurement of heat energy, while the temperature in Fahrenheit is the measurement of the intensity of heat energy. So, as we look at 